Hey guys and girls, in this video we're gonna take a look at the best NAS drives. This list is based on my personal opinion and tons of research and I have listed products based on quality, durability, price, and more. I've included options for every type of consumer so if you're looking for an entry-level option or the best product money can buy will have the product for you in this list. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned be sure to check the links in the description down below. The products mentioned are in no exact order so be sure to stay till the end so you don't miss anything. Also if you want a chance to win one of the NAS drives in the video just subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and leave a comment with the hidden word in the video. We will pick a winner and notify him when we reach 5000 likes. And don't forget to join our community telegram channel linked in the description so we we can contact you if you win. Okay, so without further ado, this is our pick of the best NAS drives on the market right now. Coming at number 10, we've got the WD My Cloud Home. The fear about cloud storage is understandable. Users may lose access to various replaceable files when services are compromised or accounts are deleted, leaving the user waving goodbye to their years of hard-earned files. The way out. The best option is to have a cloud copy of those data with all the benefits of sharing and access, as well as a personal cloud that you can manage. A personal cloud that you can keep at home, use as a multimedia NAS box, and sync with cloud stored data is exactly what the WD My Cloud Home is. Is. The hardware in the My Cloud Home is beautifully designed and styled with all its flaws in the accompanying software components provided for it. Its peculiarity is that while the USB connection can be used to copy files from external storage devices to the internal drive, WD chose not to make it possible to back up the device using it. This looks like a silly omission given that there is only one drive inside. Overall, my Cloud Home runs well and better than Seagate's comparable hardware once configured and manually linked. My Cloud Home can offer DLNA storage that can be accessed with a smart TV or a personal cloud solution. But those looking for more should think about Synology, QNAP, or the more expensive WD My Cloud solutions. Number 9. EOSafe 218 NAS What else can a NAS be used for than data security? Well, even though we've answered that in our first pick, it is still essential that a NAS offer the peace of mind that comes from knowing that your data is secure. It's great to have a single backup in the form of an attached hard drive, but even SSDs are susceptible to sudden, catastrophic failure. And while a standard NAS alleviates this with numerous disks and redundancy, they are still vulnerable to other types of failure, not the least of which are house fires, floods, and similar calamities. The EOSafe 218 NAS is a two-bay system with storage that is colloquially speaking, bomb-proof. The heavy-duty metal 31 pounds container is surrounded by insulating, IP68 waterproof materials. Your drive should remain secure for up to three days while submerged in water up to 10 feet deep or in flaming temperatures up to 1,550 deg F for up to 30 minutes. However, the drives are hidden behind layers of panels held on by either magnets or screws, and the entire device can be locked down to the floor with a separately sold $200 floor mount kit. This kit provides additional security by adding a locking front panel and, of course, securing your NAS to the floor in a way that would make it impossible for anyone to steal. The 218 NAS by EOSafe is the most robustly built of our evaluated devices, even if we were unable to test that attachment and did not perform any destructive tests. However, that extra security comes at the cost of your workspace. This enormous device measures 5.9 x 12 x 9.1 inches. If you want to have your NAS close by, which not everyone does, of course, you may need to do some heavy rearrangement to fit that into your typical desk layout in confined spaces. However, one advantage we noticed was how quiet this computer was. We could constantly hear the fan, but because the drive actuators are hidden behind the device's thick casing, we never heard them. Overall, the NAS with the DS218 Plus at its core has established itself as a popular choice over time and is a great option for anyone worried about keeping their physical physical backup machine secure and their data difficult to access. Coming at number 8 QNA PHS 264. Many NAS drives are used to store media collections, which are almost always a mix of media kinds in which the owners desire to be accessible on a TV or mobile devices around the house. However, since they tend to be far from discreet, conventional shoebox designs don't naturally lend themselves to deployment to a lounge. One of the NAS manufacturers that don't follow the crowd is QNAP, and its new HS264 is unlike anything that Synology 
or a Suster, for example, provides. This device has been built to live in the general living area next to the gaming consoles and cable TV boxes, but delivers all the features we associate with a modern NAS. This is a pricey solution when compared to a straightforward NAS box because the bare bones package costs 599 pounds. The obvious question concerning the additional investment and what the owner receives in return is raised by this does the TS-264 offer value compared to the high price QNAP is demanding. Although it is very expensive, if the HS-264 fits the bill, it might be a wise purchase. It boasts amazing specifications and a strong platform, and it operates in silence while outputting 4 Kelvin over HDMI. For most users, the greatest drawback will be the absence of a remote control Control. But for me, that is no problem at all. Coming at number 7 Buffalo Link Station LS220D, a straightforward, reasonably priced dual drive NAS, it's a bit of a steal. Buffalo's dual drive Link Station 220 costs only slightly more than a more basic single drive NAS, but because it has two drives, you can use RAID drive mirroring to increase data protection in the unlikely event of a hard disk failure. The features also don't end there. The drive is DLNA certified so it can be used used as an iTunes media server and there are simple automatic backup options for PCs and compatibility with Apple Time Machine. The feature that makes it stand out is its integrated BitTorrent client, which enables you to download and upload without using your computer. What is more, there are capacities of 2 terabytes, 4 terabytes, 6 terabytes, and 8 terabytes, with the 8 terabytes model being the most practical for long-term storage and offering the best value. Number 6, Asuster Drivester 2 Pro AS3302T. The Asuster Drivester 2 Pro is a reasonably priced 2-bay NAS with multi-gig connectivity and lots of USB ports that are intended for use as a personal cloud server. It offers a reliable option if you want to use a personal cloud to store and exchange vital material, such as pictures, music, and movies. It includes a multitude of a Suster and third-party apps that enable you to stream video, watch security cameras, back up your phones and PCs, and deliver email. It is simple to set up and install and even simpler to operate using the most recent version of a Suster's ADM operating system. It transfers files at a reasonable speed, although not nearly as quickly as the more expensive Asuster Lockerster 2AS6602T. Granted, the Lockerster 2 is a better fit for small business use, but it does provide superior performance and more apps, and it's equipped with an HDMI video port and a pair of M12 NVMe solid-state drive slots. Depending on your needs, either NAS is a strong choice. Coming in at number 5 Synology Disk Station DS920 Plus. The Disk Station DS920 Plus from Synology is going to set you back a sizable sum of money, but it's a premium level NAS drive that deserves its price and is filled with capabilities that power users can utilize. If you need an extension unit, there is even one available for this NAS. This is a piece of hardware that isn't playing about with 225 megabytes per second second encrypted sequential reading and writing performance, and there are two built-in M12 SSD slots you can use as well. You don't get these sorts of features on cheaper models, and they can make a significant difference to performance. From backing up your computer to having a media streaming library that the whole family can share, the Synology Disk Station DS920 Plus can do it all, and you can combine up to a whopping 108 terabytes of storage here as well. In addition to Wi-Fi and Ethernet, you've also got two USB ports and an Ease ATA port to make use of. Coming at number 4 Seagate Iron Wolf Pro, the Iron Wolf Pro hard drives are among the most dependable NAS hard drives available and are the industry standard for server storage solutions. The Iron Wolf Pro has a better tolerance for vibrations due to its design for larger NAS enclosures with up to 24 drives rotating side by side, and all of their storage types have a rotational vibration sensor. You may easily utilize the Iron Wolf Pro drives for your home servers if you prefer that added reliability even if they are best suited for commercial NAS systems. These drives have a workload rating of 300 terabytes each year, which is near twice as much as what ordinary NAS drives offer.
These drives come equipped with an amazing five years of guarantee from Seagate, and it sweetens the deal with a three-year data recovery service under which you can send your damaged hard drive to Seagate to recover your data, a service you'll have to pay extra for if taken from a third party. Number 3 Terra Master F Foreman is 210. For the budget category, we were again faced with some excellent choices. The Synology DS220J, the QNA PTS 130, and the Terra Master F Foreman is 210. Although each of the three has its advantages, it's difficult to top a 4-bay NAS that costs less than $300. The most recent version of the Terra Master OS, TOS 4, shows itself to be a quick, feature-rich, and surprisingly powerful OS that largely mimics the layout of Synology's DSM. There are some minor distinctions, such as the option to keep apps directly on the desktop rather than hiding them behind a drop-down menu, and a few straightforward organizational tweaks. The result is a clear OS that is simple to comprehend, especially for those who have used recent DSM revisions. Terra Master's product utilizes an ARM-based Realtek RTD1296 quad-core CPU with a 1.4 GHz clock speed, similar to the DS220J. In contrast to the DS220J's 32 terabytes of raw internal storage, it can carry up to 72 terabytes with a maximum single drive capacity of 18 terabytes. In terms of raw storage capacity, QNAP's single bay TS-130 obviously can't compete, but it does have 1 gigabyte of RAM, which puts the DS-220J as the skimpiest offering from a memory perspective. Coming at number 2 Western Digital Red Plus, similar to Seagate, WD has long produced PC storage solutions and provides trustworthy disks for any NAS. The Red Plus hard drives from WD are designed for NAS use and may be installed in equipment with up to 8 bays. WD drives are generally known to be of the highest quality, and they last a long time. They are supported by three-year limited warranties and a strong brand in the storage industry. Red's lack of market-leading hard drive speed can be compensated for by putting them in a RAID configuration. Every capacity option for WD drives offers vibration protection, which makes them tempting. But if you require quicker speeds, you'll have to pay more for the higher capacities or Red Pro series. Number 1. Synology DS1220J We believe that a dual-drive NAS system is the starting point for anyone that wants a home or small business server. Since mirroring is not a drive redundancy option available with single-drive solutions, which would help the system be more resilient against drive failure, the Synology the Synology DS1218J has been an obvious choice for people looking for a low-cost NAS solution for the past two years. It delivers a simple-to-deploy, yet powerful NAS platform in a neat and discreet package. Synology hopes to keep its market share with the new DS1220J by offering an improved computer for about the same cost as the outdated gear. But then, is there any good reason why you wouldn't buy the Synology DS1220J disk station? The Synology logic is that there isn't anything significantly wrong with this design, and tooling costs are high, so why change it? The bigger changes are on the inside. For anyone sourcing their first dual-drive NAS, the functionality packed into this one is very hard to ignore for the price. That brings us to the end of our review and buyer's guide for the best NAS drives. Hope to see you in the next video. Let us know in the comments what your favorite one is. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when we launch new videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.